What is up guys and girls, heretics, followers of the Emperor, Tyranids, oh, Slaneshi ladies, whatever you are. Welcome to the final episode of our Dawn of War 2 playthrough. That's right, I think today we're going to hit up the final boss. We're going to put a pause to this thing for a little bit. And so, without further ado, let's go ahead and do the briefing. I get the feeling this one's probably going to be a special mission. We may actually get to control, like, everybody? Maybe? Would that be pretty sweet? I don't know. Maybe it'll happen. Let's find out. Commander. Your cruiser will punch its way into the mass of smaller Tyranid ships guarding the main high fleet. Once in position, the Armageddon will drop your hand-picked squad's fire drop pod toward the base of the massive capillary tower that is feeding the main hive ship. Thanks to the data you collected earlier, Apothecary Gordian has readied a special biotoxin. You are to poison the tower, and through it, the brain of the hive fleet itself. This should deal a lethal dose to the hive mind, and send the hive fleet into disarray. One way or another, this will be the last battle of the defense of Aurelia. May the Emperor grant us victory. Angelos out. Alright, so this is gonna be it. It says right here, bonus intelligence, we must defend key points during the mission. Many brood hives are present in the target area. So I don't really know what's going to be coming at us during this whole thing. I can assume it's probably going to be fairly nasty, given what we've seen before. Let me figure out my loadout really quickly. Okay, so Tarkus has room for something extra. Maybe consider... What does he have here? Extra range damage? Yes, sir. We will take that right now. Seeing as he can't really use anything else anyways. As for Cyrus, what do we have here, bud? All-seeing truth, not as good as the garb of Kratos, or Kuros, I'm sorry. Not Kratos doesn't wear a whole lot of garb. Let's see here. It's just like a metal loincloth. It's like the only one in the game. God, it's a subligar for those Final Fantasy XI people out there. And we've got the Rosaris, we've got the Signum. I think we'll be all right. I'm going to bring my A-team. I'm going to bring my guys that I've liked to use the entire game. I know you guys are probably lamenting that, but it's all right. Let's do this thing. Honestly, I, I haven't done any research on this. I have no clue what's coming right now. So we could be using our entire squad. We could just be using our four man. That's I only equipped our four man. So if we're using like a full squad of six, that is unfortunate. But the intelligence didn't say anything about it. So who knows? No clue. This could really, really backfire on me. I could have stepped in the turn. The vile intelligence at the heart of the high fleet has made itself vulnerable. Strike as its tendrils tap into the planet below. Feed it the poison we have developed. No matter the cost, you must bring it low. God, he's raining sky boogers on everybody. Probably just call them like scoogers. That sounds like something you could lose a presidential campaign over saying. Commander, the Hive Fleet feeds through massive capillary towers. Each tower draws from many veins in the surrounding terrain. These veins are where you must deliver the biotoxin. You can read that estimate. Armageddon! Come in! Come in! The first of the veins is ahead! Move out! Like, is it just me? Like, scooger sounds like a word that would be like, really- It sounds like a swear! It really does! It sounds like one of those where it's got lots of hard consonants and things. What in the hell did I just do? Okay, so let's get everybody all situated. Ooh, it looks like the guard's up here. Let's see if maybe we're going to thrust ourselves into the enemy's veiny nether regions and try and inject him with our poison. Space Marines approaching! Sergeant Merrick, report. Xenos forced down our Valkyrie, sir. Scattered us across the damn landscape. Will take more than a few bruises to take us out of the fight, though. Damn right it will, because you're the Imperial Guard. The beefiest and most awesome. Let's see here. So there's our first little veiny bit that we need to touch and caress. Gently, though. You gotta be gentle with it. You can't just... You can't just grab the veiny thing. No survivors from second. Right. Morris, form survivors into full squads, and then inventory what gear we have left. Fagan, get the remains of the first squad into a perimeter, and then get that blasted Ospex working. Biotoxin delivery. Underway. Movement detected. Aliens on approach. Enemy attacks from the north. All right, men. 
These things are here to take our worlds away from us. I, for one, do not intend to let that happen. Form up into defensive firing lines. This is our Commander, this is Underhawk 2. Tarantulas are ready to drop on your position. Just the word. Get ready. Okay. Here they come. Warrior beast. Let's Open drop them. Let me see what we've got going on here. We should be alright. We've got a bunch of guardsmen here with their flashlights. And they really like to seem to focus on these turrets for whatever reason. The AI, the AI really seems to get hung up on them, so I think that's going to give us a reasonable advantage here. Did that thing just... Oh god. Maybe I should capture this really quickly. And I should also probably put you in melee mode. See if I can get the guardsmen. I mean, guardsmen are known for being just terrible in melee, but it's all right. They've got their flashlights. They might have a bayonet if they get really, really lucky. I think we can hold this position without actually having to use any of our resources right now. I am going to crack open. Oh, never mind. I got the wrong guy selected. Let's send that out there. Where's the Ravener? Oh, there it is. Let's snipe that big old bastard. I think we can get him. Did we get him? No. I picked the wrong enemy, it looks like. Weak. Alright, well now that the Ravener is running around just annihilating everybody, maybe I'll move Tarkus up. Yeah, let's get Tarky up and in here and see if he can maybe do a little bit of the reasonable shooty damage. I'll also move them up so that they can hold the line with the Guardsmen there. Yeah, that should work out, I think. I mean, it doesn't really seem like they're going to affect us. There's got to be some positive benefit to going and getting the super bitch in, like, ultra pimpin' space marine armor. We spent all that time on those two missions, grabbing those two bosses, so my assumption is that'll probably give us a reasonable advantage here. They don't really, these Hormigons, and they don't really seem to be hurting the Force Commander at all. We should be perfectly fine. Oh no. You'll forgive me, my cat just jumped up and completely interrupted the play. She wants to play for whatever reason. Would have been on that a tad quicker, but there was feline sabotage taking place. And what's worse is I can't even like close the door while I record these, because she'll just sit out there and like chew on the wood on the door. It's, are you serious? Not the brightest cookie, that one. Although cookies aren't really bright. Not the chewiest cookie? By what merit are cookies judged? Some people don't like chewy cookies. Well, damn. I don't know where that leaves us right now. In any case, whatever metaphor we choose to draw, she is not the apex of that. Why are you guys, like, sallying out from a safe position? Get back here. Fine, go ahead, stand there, get shot. Do your thing. Yeah, they're dying because they're not staying in cover. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving a lecture to the AI right now. Well, if you had stayed in cover, maybe that wouldn't have happened. You're gonna make me go- Alright, whatever, let's bring Tarkus out. He can't die anyways. He's too much of a badass. His face is like one big scar. That's how badass he is. Manliness is determined by like how many facial scars you have, I think. At least in the Space Marines, and his face is a scar. Maybe think about shooting some missiles into the middle of that. That was the worst missile barrage ever. What an utter waste of time. Forget it, I'm never shooting those again. At least not on an incline. Let me pop some of these boxes open. Biotoxin administered successfully, Commander. Looks like we do have something to destroy over there. Oh my god, there's so many of these nodes, they're everywhere. Ooh, Force Commander, get on that right now. No, Carnifex, good Carnifex. The whole damn planet is infected. Commander. We need to administer another dose of biotoxin at a second site. There are exposed veins further along the ridge. I'll light them up and I'll head there. 
All right, guys, let's do this thing. Best to destroy the rest of these nests, Commander. I'm gonna give them just a moment. Let me see if maybe I can snipe out that guy right there. Down he goes. Doesn't leave me with a whole lot of options for the other one, but we'll teleport. All right. No way, we get everybody? Hell yeah. I mean, I can barely manage my own guys in most cases, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> you get it, this must not be in vain. The whole mission? <laughs> the whole mission is sabotaging veins. That's the joke, it's so funny. Oh god, I tire myself sometimes. The realistic interpretation here is that it's been a long day, and so my jokes are going to suffer like crazy. I don't actually think it's going to give me a hotkey for them. Does it? Oh, it does. Five and six of them. Okay. I'll take it. Let's maybe think about... Well, I would have given them Terminator armor then had I known. See, they're doing that... He's doing that thing where he's shooting guns again. Which is, like, not his job. God, those warriors and those venom cannons do so much damage. They're terrifying. They really are just horrific. Let's capture this point. The enemy is destroying a key structure. That's fine. They can destroy my structures. Second biotoxin delivery. Starting now. Commander, north and south approaches are both vulnerable. Thunderhawk 2, Commander. All right, so let's beef up some of these attack vectors. I'm thinking the ones moving southward need to be bolstered fairly well. Shouldn't be too bad, though. Maybe think about... I really should think about getting rid of that over there. Wait, did they finish that? There it is. All right, good. Let them deploy really quickly. And I actually don't think I need an assault cannon barrage. I was about to light one off right there. I was about to light that candle, but I feel like that might have been a tad premature. And the last thing we want to be is premature. We want to be good here. We want to. We don't want to give the Tyranids a disappointing evening. There we go. Now it's time for the assault barrage. There it is. Very nice. Beautiful. Couldn't have gone better. This side appears like it's holding perfectly fine, actually. Not a whole lot of bad things happening over here. We may want to get in and destroy those structures, as I said before. However, penetrating the enemy's line... God, we're talking about disappointing evenings, penetration. We're talking about all kinds of... It is just a nasty evening here at the Nerd Castle. I'll tell you what. I don't know what's going on today. I'm being puerile, I guess, or puerile. There we go. That's the word that I'm looking for. Puerile. That's the word that I'm looking for. I almost said puerile. What the hell is puerile? That's not even a thing. I bet I could get them in over here. It's happening right here. Somebody lit off a smoke bomb. I heard them say warrior beast, which is not something that I'm okay with. And I'm not even sure what happened right there. However, I think he can give an assist. And there it is. A beautiful assist it was. I'm gonna pull him back just briefly so that no, that's okay. Allied infantry can die. That's what guardsmen are for. All right. I don't know if I want to put him back into ranged mode. Yeah, let's put him into ranged mode for just a minute. We'll have him fire back with his assault cannon, auto cannon, whatever. You guys know that I can never like keep those two straight. <laughs> that dude just got annihilated. What a terrible day. That's always a terrible day to be a guardsman. 
Almost said, what a terrible day to be a guardsman, but I don't think there's a lot of pleasurable days being a guardsman. The potential for good things to happen to you when you're a guardsman very, very limited. Like you've got to get you've got to get promoted like 38 times before you're like worth keeping alive. That's that in and of itself is kind of scary. I think we're holding okay. I think we did better here than we did at the last location actually. Maybe have them jump in on these guys. And there it is. Little bit of damage done. We'll have them scrum it up a tad. They may need help over here as well. I mean, he's holding the line okay, but... Where is that at? Oh, God. We're so heavily armored that I feel like they're just bouncing right off of us. That should be it. Always assuming this works. I don't know. There's an arena on this map, so I feel like they're going to make me square off against something. What in the hell is that? It worked! Yes! Die, you alien scum! Yeah! All right! Thank the Emperor! Surely this isn't over. Not the War Guardsmen, no. But our part in it is at an end. Is it? But the hives here on the ground will recover soon enough. And I can assure you that we will not last long. And the Armageddon is gone. We have nowhere to fall back to. Come, Thaddeus. Did you imagine any of us would return from this mission? No. I suppose I did not. But I cannot imagine a better end than this. Then I guess we better take as many of the damn bugs with us as we can. Well said, Sergeant. Well said indeed, Abatus. Good night, John boy. <laughs> Brothers, make yourselves ready. And may we meet again at the right side of the Emperor. But the left has squishy couches. Damn it. Kill as many Tyranids as possible. Okay, I guess it's holdout mode here. It shifted everybody around, weirdly enough. Where is my force commander? Okay, so he's down here. Put you back behind cover so that you fire all right. Oh god. There's like so much going on that I can't even process it all. Oh, there goes one right there. Oh, ion cannons. I didn't call those in, so I don't know where those came from. I'm actually going to use Cyrus as best I can right now. I'm going to put in... ...to the commanding forces on Typhon. Do you read? The fleet has arrived. Hold fast. You shall not fall this day. Commander, we have dropped a spread of relay beacons. Make your way to the closest one and activate it so we have a fix on your position. I'm getting readings from one of the beacons, Commander. Marking it on map display. Oh god. That's way over there. It's gonna be like Hamburger Hill up in here, I can tell already. Get to cover and cut them down. From which direction? Where's the wave coming from? I don't feel like facing any waves right- Oh, there's one. Yeah. Run away, Force Commander! And if anything really big comes from this way, I'll open up with another assault barrage. Well, 
maybe I should help here. That guardsman is looking very, very alone. Okay, let's go. I mean, we have a pretty heavy-duty force right here. I don't think there's going to be really anything that can stop this march of doom, but who knows? Be vigilant. Brothers, we go. Remain vigilant. Assault squad is ready to deploy. Coordinates fixed. Takes so long just to order people like where to go. The chapter's Stand ready. Oh my god, his cannon does amazing damage to buildings. I didn't expect him to do that much pain. Really? Well, had I known, I would have used that a lot sooner. There are still targets to engage. I think I'm going to have him finish off the hive. Oh, they're coming in that way, too. Well, luckily, it could be worse. Let's go ahead and clear the force commander here. Ooh, that was a good one. That one was nice and juicy. If I have to choose how my assault barrage is going to go, I would definitely prefer them of the juicy variety. Any other hives to be aware of? What's going on here? There's one right there. Let's... Yeah, we're gonna go around this way, I think. Reposition. Be vigilant. Brothers, we go. Relocating. As we wipe these out, I think my plan is to come down the map like so and up and around, kind of in a L-shaped pattern. Maybe like a backwards J. Let me get the Force Commander out front so that he's the first one to take any damage when it happens. I actually, I don't see much resistance, so this might actually be easier than we thought. This might just be a short march here. Okay, so I wanted people right here to be in sort of an arc, just in case they came from the sides of us. I don't legitimately think that will happen, but you can never be too careful. Fall back, run away, scouts! Yeah, that's what- oh, never mind, they decided to call my bluff on it. Ooh, and they came through an extra way. Like true believers, they came through in lots of different ways. It's okay, though, with a good Thaddeus stomp, a thomp, we managed to handle them. Alright, let's see if we can take this hill. No clue what's at the top of it. If it's bad enough, I'll probably just ion cannon the hell out of it. <laughs> God, he said plant the teleport homer. I was like, no! <laughs> oh, Simpsons humor. Yay! It looks like they've set up cover for us here. So if I had to hazard a guess how this is going to go, we're going to have to hold the hill for a little bit. Coordinates received. Drop pods away! Anything? Oh, we've got a counter. So in 20 seconds, we're going to get picked up, maybe. It could happen. You've got to believe. You've got to wish upon God's thumbnail, and then maybe it might happen, maybe, possibly. It is done. done. Move on. Direct our wrath. Tearing it down. The shepherd is here. Stand ready. Purge the tyrannies. Taste the fury of the blood ravens. Oh, wow. We have one more task in this cursed place. The hive mind is using a powerful alpha creature to maintain control over its land-based forces on this world. We must kill this beast. It will fall, Captain Antelos. The beast nests at the top of these ruins. Move out when you are ready, and I will accompany you. The rest of our forces will guard our flanks. Okay, let's do this thing. I had a feeling that there was a reason they placed a giant arena up here. Although, God, I don't even want to know what we're going to be up against if we have to fight this thing with this many guys. I can barely keep track of the four. You guys know that my attention span is, like, about as long... I'd give it, like, a millimeter if I wanted to get metric about this. I could make you guys suffer and go straight Imperial on you, but it's okay. 
I mean, we are part of the Imperium, so I don't know if they choose to, like, measure distances in dog tails and fairy dust or whatever. But anyways... If I was going straight metric on you, I'm not sure it would last a millimeter. This is pretty badass. There's, like, space marines all over the place. How come there weren't more missions like this where there's, like, lots of actors on the field? Is everybody with us? Do I leave anybody behind? I want to make sure, like, nobody's in the back anywhere. Nothing? Okay, good. And I want Force Commander in the front with Angelos. Does Angelos even have a button? Oh, he's number seven. Okay, well, he's got two abilities. My foe shall fall. He designates a target and takes increased damage. Then he's got Sunder Armor, which breaks protective barriers on an enemy unit. There it is! To war! I don't see it. What am I looking at? Oh, there it is. Force Commander, go! Run! Angelos, you get in there too. Alright, let me get everybody into a position where they can actually fight this thing. And I really don't want my scouts getting eaten. Get him on out of that big old circle o doom. I'm gonna debuff the hive tyrant so that we can kill it a little bit quicker. Oh wow, he like one shot at one of our guys. Get out of the way. And I don't know if he has any protective enchantments, but they're about to get busted. We are about to burst his bubble like crazy. They were not kidding when they said that increases the damage he takes. Get everybody in there, forget it. Eh. No, not you guys. Devastators are having a bad day. Oh my god, are you serious? Like, how do you even avoid that? I don't think you can. He basically just, like, one shot at him in the face. Hope we don't get a rating for this, because I don't really see how you would circumvent that. The chapter and the sector owe you a great debt, Space Marines. We did our duty, Captain. Nothing more. Few could have done it better, Cyrus. Long ago, the Emperor foresaw humanity's need for warriors unlike any others. Warriors who could face the unbearable horror lurking among the stars. Who, on the day of certain defeat, would be victorious. You and your space marines are those warriors, Commander. Thanks to you, human life still thrives in Aurelia. The Blood Ravens still have their recruiting worlds, and the Imperium still thrives in the Aurelia Sector. Your deeds will never be forgotten. Why did it look like our ships were made out of petrified wood? <laughs> God, who knows? Yay, I got achievements too. How great is that? What is this thing? Your strike force has destroyed the Tyranid Hive Fleet and saved Subsector Aurelia with the Central Hive Ship dead. The Hive Fleet has disintegrated. The chapter will purge its remains from Aurelia thanks to your leadership of commanders and heroes such as you. How'd we do? We earn the title just to... Come on. How'd we do? That's it? God, I'm terrible at this game. Maybe you have to play on hard to do better. Just a car, oh doom. I prefer to, like, shorten that. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Well, as always, it's always a pleasure to play Dawn of War or any other Warhammer 40k game with you guys. I like 40k. I have a lot of fun with it. Well, is this going to be like an extended version? Bzz. I don't think it is. I think that's going to be the same video. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me throughout this entire series. This one ran a little bit long. I will freely 
admit. I hope that next time we do a Warhammer 40k series, you guys will stop by. I thank THQ, but they're long since dead, so nothing I can do about that. Thank you anyways. Postmortem, thank you, THQ. I'll see you guys next time. Take care out there, everybody.